welcome to this quick overview of the audio visualizer add-on for Blender that I am currently working on. What you just saw was the first animation built using the add-on. Alright, so let's check it out. I'm going to go to the user preferences here in Blender and enable the add-on. So you could find it under the add mesh menu. And what I added in, uh, you could see a row of uh, columns placed on the x axis here in Blender. So, to build the audio visualizer, first we gotta generate the geometry. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do that. There's different uh, geometry layouts. I have, uh, I'll be demonstrating the grid layout here. Uh, but there's also a ring or a spiral that uh, I'll be implementing later on. So with the grid one, you could change the number of rows uh, or columns uh, to suit your needs, as well as a spacing between them. There's uh, also a, a scale um, uh, for convenience right here, so you don't have to actually scale the whole thing later on. You could also already place it down as you want. Now, the scaling of each node is um, uh, right now at its base. Each node is at its base. So if I scale it up, up and down, that's how it, exactly how it looks uh, when the animation is applied. The highest uh, value that you set right here would be the highest that you could go to, and uh, zero, of course, is the lowest. Now, ch you could also change the pivot uh, to make it scale safe from the center. Uh, if I change the height now, it'll scale from the center. Or uh, from bottom to down, instead of bottom to up, like this. So, a couple of different options there. Uh, we could also change the thickness of each node, like that, to create a little uh, more variety. So I'm just going to restore the defaults and uh, work with this uh, geometry. To animate, just uh, go to the animation. And uh, here is a selection for the music file. Click the button, a file browser pops up, and you could select the music. I'm just going to stick with the default one here. You could add the song in Blender into the uh, sequence editor right over here. Um, I'm not going to click that option now, as I don't want any audio to be right now. Uh, then you choose the frequency distribution, uh, minimum and maximum frequency that you want to work with. Uh, after all the settings are set, you just click animate, wait a few seconds, and animation complete. So if I play it back now, you can see the uh, full animation. I believe it lasts 340 frames though. So I'll change that. To, this is a constant loop uh, uh, song, so we'll just keep on going. So as you can see here, this is a log distribution. Uh, it means it takes the finer values in the beginning, uh, in larger increments to to the uh, to the end. You can change this to a linear or an exponential uh, scale. And that's about it. That's the visualizer at this stage. Now, if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, uh, please post them in the description. Contact me on Twitter or Blender Artist Forums. All the links are going to be in the description and on my channel. Uh, also, the song used in the visualizer is by a good friend of mine whose YouTube link is also going to be in the description, maybe here floating around somewhere. So check him out as well. Uh, that's all for me, though. Uh, I'll see you next time.